All right, guys, I want to make an update on this gun, the P320X Compact, RXP. Um, I did a review on this gun initially when I got it a few months ago, and it's been great. I love the gun. My issue is this. The Romeo 1 Pro is, I don't know what to say about it. So I was at a camping a few weeks ago and with a bunch of shooting buddies, and we did quite a bit of shooting, like a lot of drills, a lot of stuff, nighttime, daytime. You know, that's mainly what we were doing the entire time. And my optic failed on me during that time. And gratefully, it has, you know, backup irons, suppressor height. Well, I shouldn't say suppressor height, because they only work with this optic. When I put the Leopold Delta Point Pro on it, it blocks out that rear sight. But anyway, um, so the, it, it, it died on me, and I couldn't get the red dot to turn back on. I thought, oh, man, the battery's already dead. I mean, they claim a 20,000-hour battery life. It comes with this weird brand I've never heard of battery here and uh it didn't work anymore so i was like well that's weird maybe i'll switch the optic out to the delta point pro that's when i discovered that because i had one on my ppq and that's when i discovered that uh it didn't it would kind of block out our sight so i thought maybe i'll try a new battery um so weirdly enough i got the sight to turn back on and then i used it again and it was fine the other day i took it out of my safe it's dead again i don't have it on like a super super bright setting either you know i just keep it on a lower setting to conserve battery life so i went out and bought a um new battery an energizer lithium and try to install it but when i first did this a minute ago off camera um another thing to look at look at the metal on this thing i'm literally using this is the tool it comes with guys this sig tool is the tool it comes with this metal it's super cheap aluminum. Like it just, I mean, look at that. It's going to eventually be where, I don't know how I'm going to switch out this battery. I'm going to have to get a bigger screwdriver. It's just not good quality. So never had that issue with my RMRs, my SRO, or my Delta Point Pro. Just saying. So I'm going to try and install this battery and see if it fixes it. Um, a second ago, I put it in and it wasn't working and then it fired up just fine. So I don't know if there's just something completely defective with my sight. I'll probably reach out to SIG about a warranty on it. Um, but, you know, it's concerning that this is a gun I've carried and that optic could fail. Now, I'm glad I have the backup sights. In case it did fail, I could still shoot the gun. So I'm doing this off camera, so I don't bump anything. All right, so it's back on. So I think the battery was just bad. Um, yeah, you can see the red dot there. So... I do like, really like the dot on this guy. It's got a good sized dot. It's really clear. Uh, it doesn't come through very good in camera. That's about right. Um, but uh, the new Energizer battery is working, it looks like. So it may just be a battery life issue, but come on. <laughs> Not even close to 20,000 20, hours. It lasted like two months. And I did leave it on because why wouldn't you? It's a pistol optic. You're not going to turn it off and turn it back on, especially if it's a carry gun. The gun itself has been super reliable, 100%, no malfunctions, been fantastic, I loved it. Um, it's the optic that has been, and I, yeah, you know what, I've dinged it up a little bit, guess what? It's a freaking carry gun, it's going to get dinged up a little bit. None of my other red dot sights, I own the SRO, I own the Delta Point Pro, I own the Shield RMSC on my 365 XL, and none of those guns, in fact, right here, None of these have um, had any issues. I leave this sucker on. It's automatically on. This has been a great little red dot sight. Way more rounds through this. Carry this daily for a long time. And it hasn't had any issues. So, yeah. Um, thinking it might just be the SIG. We'll see. Now, my only thought is, may, I bought this from a dealer off Gunbroker. And maybe it was like a store model. But these things are super hard to get. Like, they sell out so fast. I can't imagine this was just sitting on the shelf. People were looking at it and playing with it, and then the battery just died. Like, I can't imagine that being the case. But we're going to try this new battery out, see how it goes, see if we can get decent battery life. You know, I'm going to keep it on this setting here, which is decently bright. One thing I have noticed is when I go to the range... Actually, you know what? Um, I have to keep it on a higher setting because it's not daylight bright. That's another... Uh, it is daylight bright on a higher setting. So that could be, I guess, what drained the battery. So... I'm going to leave it on that same setting, which is this. So when I go to the range, I can actually see my dot when I'm shooting outside. I'm going to leave it on that setting and see how the battery life goes, and I'll do an updated video here in a little bit. But I want to give you guys a good update. I've got another 
I don't know, at least 500 plus rounds for this guy. Done a lot of drills with it. It's been great. I'm thinking about getting the Polymer 80 frame that just came out. They just came out with Polymer 80 frames not too long ago for the SIG 320 series. Um, just to kind of change up the grip a little bit. One issue I do have, and this is a hand issue, not a gun issue. This is my smaller hands. I have a medium-sized glove is I have a hard time with that mag release. I have to change my grip when doing mag changes, which isn't a huge deal, but um, it would be nice if it... So I'm going to try that Polymer 80 frame because it's got more of a 1911 style. Uh, it's a little slimmer, so I shouldn't have any issues. Because on the 365 XL, I don't have any issues with the mag release, and it's slimmer frame, slimmer grip. So yeah, I just want to give a brief update on this guy uh, with the Art Romeo 1 Pro. Glad to see that the battery, because a second ago when I put the battery in, it didn't work. So I'm going shooting tomorrow, um, same guys actually, and we're going to do a bunch of shooting tomorrow morning. So I'm going to uh, take this out and see how it does, and hopefully the optic uh, works for me the whole time. And if not, I know it's a bad optic. Uh, I've changed out the battery, so hopefully it works good, and this battery lasts a long time. I'll do an update on it to see how it's going here in a little while. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.